Evening everybody, welcome back to the channel, new hat. <laughs> so this is uh, Urban Arc Overland, now this is Aiden and he's decided to make the jump from day job to van builder. So if you haven't followed him, please jump across to his channel, I'll try and put a link up there and uh, help support him, because it is a big jump and uh, fair play to the man and total respect. He's doing something that he's got a passion for now, and he's a good lad as well, and I wish him all the best. Anyway, let's get back to our video. It's been a really, really busy weekend. We've had that on and off. We've put some additional lighting on. We've done a number of jobs on the van. Now the van's running perfect. I've got the opportunity to, uh, to actually get on and do some jobs that have been I've been meaning to do, but just haven't had the time because obviously it's been in the garage and we've been fixing it, we've been sorting out that vacuum pump issue. So now we've got that done. This weekend was dedicated completely to sorting out all the odd little jobs. Oh yeah, by the way, if someone ever invents smell vision you are going to struggle with this video. The farmers have decided in their infinite wisdom to cut the grass and spread the smelliest cow crap they can find in the mornings and evenings all over these fields to get the grass growing again and uh, if you see me pulling faces it's because I've just got a real lungful of what can only be described as rotting shit it's horrendous all the doors on the houses are shut it's hot um, it's a little bit overcast today, so that's better for us, but the smell is horrendous. So bear with me. If you see any weird faces today, it's because of this. It's because of that smell. Anyway, let's get on with today's video. So this weekend, we're fitting solar. More, more solar. We've uh, Now the van's running well, back to normal. We've got opportunity to do some of the jobs that we've been putting off for a long time. So... There's the awning, just sat down there. Um, my son come yesterday, give me a hand to lift that off. So what we're doing today, we've got a couple of parts coming for the solar panel. It is up there, but um, this is a video I'm making after we've installed it, if you know what I mean. So it's up there, but you'll see the installation after this. Got it chalked, um, we're waiting for the inline fuses to come, waiting for a connector to come. So while we're up there, we're going to put some more perimeter lighting on, just make sure my finger goes the right way, yep, more perimeter lighting on, one there, I'm going to try and fit one there, so that's this morning's problem, trying to mount that one, because it's, oh, it doesn't fit under the awning, it needs to be just this side of it, so I don't know whether to make a, a little extension piece and, and mount it the same as the back one, or what I couldn't get a pair of lights like I had on the other side they've stopped making them so I'm because they're on a different side I'm, I'm not too fussed so we'll see we'll see what it looks like anyway well it's time to remove this ugly vent I've never liked it it's from our shower we need to install a low profile one as our panel is gonna go right over the top of it well that's the four screws out let's see oh, how hard it is to take off not hard at all by the looks of it <laughs> right so the next thing we need to do is take this piece off here which i stuck down with sicker flex so that might be a bit more challenging i'm just going to start by trying to ease the knife under turns out if you take the screws out it might come out a little bit easier so there's four screws in there as well. So we'll have a little look at that now and see if it'll come off. <sighs> no bother at all. <laughs> right, let's have a little look at this. We'll dress as much of this off as we can. And we'll see how the new one's going to sit. Well, we've got most of it cleaned off. Now we just have to clean up this area. <clears throat> Give something for the sicker flex to grab onto. So the new piece comes in two sections. So that is the base. 
So this is the base. It's going to have to sit a little bit offset. But I don't think it's going to matter much for what it is. And this is the top section. If I can get it to join up. <laughs> so anyway, they're clipping there. There's a locating screw there. Locating plug. And there's one on the other side. So what we'll do is we'll mark up now where this is going to sit. We'll prep the area with some sandpaper and then we'll locate it. That's a footprint marked out there. So what we'll do now is in between that area we'll sandpaper it up, get a good key. And we'll also do the bottom of this. As you can see it's quite shiny. So if we were just to stick that on it wouldn't last very long. So what we'll do is we'll rough that up as well, give it a good key clean it off with panel wipe so there's no no dust or grime on it and then we'll glue it down I'm going to show you quickly how this works it's got an opening at the front and an open at the back so when that's on your van roof the air will come in hit there travel round and exit out the back so inside no water or wind can penetrate down there what it does it's going to rush it round the sides and create like a bit of a vortex at the back that will help pull out any moist air also when the fan's running it'll just expel that way anyway so i think that's a pretty neat idea i found that on the internet i'll put a link in the description i think that's going to be a lot better <laughs> than the old mushroom that's now in the bin that's the surface all prepped up now and we've given it a clean off with some panel wipe so we're ready to go First thing I want to do though is I'm going to offer it up. There's four screws going this, so I'm going to mark them screws and drill them first. That way we don't end up making a mess of the sealant once we've got it up there. Well, that's our dry fit complete. All secure on there. But we've only got four screws holding it now. Now it's time to mastic it all up. Well, luckily for me, I forgot to turn the camera on, so you didn't get to see me make a complete mess of this. In fact, do that without making a mess, but we'll see. Hmm. I think they're all moved then. Let's try and get some screws in. Screw there. There you go, job done. So what we'll do is when when the glue's gone off, I will come up and seal the top of them screws and uh, just put a little bit of sealant over the top of them just so they don't weather and rust. So we're using a straight edge of the angle just to make sure we've got enough clearance under our new bathroom vent cowl and looking at that we've got about 10 millimeters so we're going to make sure that when we put the new panel on it's going to sit at the same height as this one these are our angles what we're going to do that support bracket needs moved over and that will sit there just like that, honestly, it'll work. Right, I'm going to try and show you this and keep me in the shot. So these bolts here, actually, all they do is pinch down. We hook this, we hook the awning over and it settles in. And then these two bolts here, they fasten them down and they just pinch into the back of the awning to stop it moving. So we're going to loosen them off now and uh, just lift this off. both of them off. So Sam's down that end, he's going to lift that end while I lift this end and then we're just going to walk it down and uh, take our time because we're working right on the side of the road. So all we're going to do is push it up. Yeah, you got it? It's loose now. I'm going to come down a couple of steps. Yeah, well I need to, I need to just come down a little bit. Ready? To you heavier than I remember. 
Is it heavy? Hang on. No, stay that end. Stay that end. <laughs> I've just got to come down. Right. Just walk up the garden. I'm putting it on the back garden. through this with you quickly so to get the solar panels on last time along with the awning we had to push everything that way so we braced it up in the center we angled this piece here so we could still have our bracket on and it wouldn't interfere with the solar mounting we're going to do something very similar for the new panel that's going here so we've seen dropped the vent I now just need to move all of this that way so I've started loosening off the bolts open this will just knock up take them out okay, wiggle it off there's always one doesn't want to come does it things have seized in Right, I'm going to play with that, try and get that off. Go on. Go on, we go. We go. Hey, we're off. Now, I thought this was a lot thicker. So I've been telling everybody to buy 5 mil stainless steel. That is about mm, 2 2 mil. As you can see, it's still holding up pretty well. Happy with that. So what we're going to do now is loosen these off, slide this along, give ourselves a bit of space, and then we can put our new support across with the solar panel on. That there is all we need. Gives a little bit of space this side to do what we want. So let's offer up. Well, we need to go and sort the panel out now. We've added one of the supports to this solar panel, this side of the solar panel already. This is the edge that will sit up against the back of the awning. So we've got the cables all just coiled up here. And then we'll be able to pull them out to here and do whatever work we need to do on them. So to get these at the same height as the ones up there, we've actually added a spacer on the bottom. And then we've put a spacer that you can just see here. In to get it to 39 millimeters which is the height of them ones off the unistrut and then all we've done is four techs equally spaced and that's us that was three dugger duggers we're just working out how many dugger duggers what the equivalent is in newton meters so if we go one dug 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 that's about Space we've been using, and that fits between the frame, the solar panel, and the support frame that we're using. It's one square in, both ends, and we'll fire up on the roof, it should all line up. Right. Look at the mess that's under there now, that's under the panel. So we've just added in two, two more splitters, and they'll allow us to add this additional panel in. Got some fuses coming tomorrow for here, so we'll get them put in. We'll get the extensions plugged in, so the ends are just way too short. So we need to put a meter extension in from here to here, and then that'll get us away. But yeah, underneath the van is pretty grim. <laughs> the unistrut that we use to hold the solar on 
is also being utilised to run our cables in. So I've run a cable from the front there, you can just see it coiled up on the top. All the way down here, we've got a cap in on as well that we've flicked off, but we'll put all that back in a minute. And down to here, that'll pick up that backlight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump out onto the back of this light with some containment, run it along the back and drop in and pick up the circuit from that light there. So these, um, these spotlights are only like 7, 8 watts and uh, they bang out a lot of light. So they're not a big draw on the circuit. So having four daisy chained together like this won't make any difference. It won't really affect the, the, the circuit. So we can do it and it doesn't affect their performance. So just you utilise what you've got. Just drill the 20 mil hole in there. Now I'm going to put some corpex on this cable and we're going to run it right along the back of there. It doesn't need a lot, but this will then just tie into the existing circuit. That's a flexible conduit cleated in. Cut around the top and that just lays in there about 100 mil. And we just work that in, clip it down. Nice tidy little job. So what we've done this end, it's where the cable comes out, we've just put a V in it. Connection to be made under there, one at the front, and then we'll tie in that corner. Well, we've made a little bracket to mount this light on, because where it sits up there, the awning ends about here, and so does the unistrut, so it needs to come past a little bit. I'll show you that in a minute when we fit it. Well, I think it's time we give these lights a try. It's pitch black outside, so... Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the other side, the passenger side. And that's lighting up everything. So we have some decent perimeter lighting now. Final parts have arrived, so we can get this job finished now. So this job should have took a couple hours, <laughs> but the way Amazon's been delivering lately, we got some stuff Friday, we got some stuff Saturday, 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 and we got the rest of it today, Sunday, seven o'clock at night. So it's time for me to get this up there. Here he is. The dirty stop out. Yeah. What time is this to be getting up? This is what you look like after staying up to one o'clock on a sleepover, then waking up at half past four in the morning, eating pizza, sweets, and then still cracking with your mate till God knows what time. How long have you been in bed? Three hours. Mm, three hours, yeah. You've done well, son. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've put our fuses on. We've also put our two extensions on. They'll go around there and reach that panel now. We've got a fuse there to, for that one. So now this can all just go back underneath the van. So we've got fuses into two, into two, and then into the main connection there. So I am happy now start putting all this back under here out the way that's if it'll go <laughs> Didn't want to go let's let's try and run these through here make that connection that might just help that sit down yeah that's it right so they're under there now we can remove this them wedges have just been helping me keep things apart. He says. He says they can come out now. There they are. Ah, that'll be my finger. Going there again. Let's just keep them up there like that. <sighs> Out. So 
So fuse will go into your red line, which is all connected that end. That's your earth, your negative, sorry. And just plug them together. And then this make our final connection. Just make sure everything's nice and tight. And we'll just push everything under the panel. Nip this up now. That's that done. Finished. We can uh, crack on and see if it's lifted. Well, when the sun comes back, <laughs> we can see if we've got any improvement on what we've got coming in. Yeah, we can pop the awning up tomorrow. Jobs are good. Because of the difference in panel wattage, we've left everything wired in parallel. But I think changing that vent has been a good job. Looks really tidy up there now. Well, the van's finally back together. Look, awning's on. Lights are working. So we've got a productive week anyway. It's been a nice sunny day today, so we're going to check and see what the solar did. Right, let's have a little look on this app. So, this is the Vitron app. So we know what we've been doing recently. Oh. <laughs> yes, there's a difference. So look at that there. Right in the middle of the screen. So that's where the batteries are currently at now. The voltage is there. We've still got a little bit of light coming in. It's nine o'clock at night. So it's still charging very slowly. But um, yeah, let's have a little look. So this is, this these days here, this is over a week ago. So you can see there, we're getting about 1.69, but only 220. I think the maximum there is like 250 watts, 310 there. So that's that. Now today has been a little bit overcast this morning, first thing. But look at that. Max is 358 watts. And we've had a yield of 1.6. I'm happy with that. That's definitely an improvement. So, yeah. Definitely an improvement. So, my battery's currently sitting at 66%. I put it under load yesterday. And I've left it under load all night to, to take some charge out the battery. Um, we just turned on an empty fridge. So that fridge has been working overtime tonight. Last night, anyway. So, yeah. Happy. That looks good. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth doing. Yeah, we've got 1.69 there. Yeah, 1.69, but only 221 watts. So we're getting more watts. And I think we had a shorter period of daylight today. So anyway, that's that. Well, that's the end of another video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. In the last video, we did ask you, if you were watching the video and you weren't subscribers, to hit that button. It's made a massive difference. So if you are watching, if you're one of the 60% that still watches our videos and doesn't subscribe, yeah, boo, you tell them. What should they do, boo? What? Click like. Hit the notification bell. And subscribe. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Is that what you want them to do? Yeah. Cool. You heard it straight from the dog's mouth. <laughs> Click like. <laughs> Hit the notification bell and subscribe anyway till next time see you again well thank you for sticking around to the end it's fantastic that you have i'd like to know who you are so please post a comment saying i do and then i'll know who watches my videos all the way through thank you